Welcome to Personalized Paintball. Today we'll be doing a budget TMC build. So I went on Amazon and got a basic TMC for 250 bucks. Whenever you start a build, you gotta ask yourself, what do you want out of it? For me, I'm looking for a very lightweight setup that is cheap and easy to maneuver. So first we're gonna start with the barrel. I got a really small barrel from Modern Combat Sports in order to replace it. The most important thing that you do on any of your builds is find a decent barrel. Any upgrade from the stock barrel is what you need. So this is just a simple 3 inch barrel with a 98 adapter added on to it. And then I put a barrel tip to make it a little bit longer and add some style. In total this costs around 50 bucks. Links for this will be in the description. Next we're going to modify the body of the TMC. So I took the stock off and I wanted to go for a very minimalist look. And the easiest way to do that is just to cut off the excess. So I'm going to cut there and then the takedown lever was in the way. So I flipped it around and then cut the rest of it. Next I wanted to look at the shroud. So I put it in the barrel and the idea here was to cut the shrouds so that a little bit of the tip was hanging out but not all of it. So first line up your shroud and kind of eye where you want to cut. Depending on what you want for your build, you could cut anywhere, but cutting it does give the TMC a unique look that most other TMCs don't have. So after looking at it, it looked like here was the best place to cut, but I'm going to go over a little bit more so I have extra room. So now we're going to start the cutting process. I got a simple hacksaw from Target just to show how easy this is. I threaded it through for my starting cut just so I had a simple point to follow, and I just went to town. This is really easy, it only took me about 30 minutes to do the whole thing, and you just go to town on it. Don't worry about breaking it, it's a nice plastic that's not going to splinter. Really focus on getting the blade up to the edge that you're keeping, that way you don't have any hangover, but if you do have hangover, don't worry, we can knock it off with the sanding process. I cut the stock off screen, but you can follow the same process for it. On to the sanding portion. The sanding really doesn't take that long. You can do it by hand, but I went for the electric sander I had in my garage. This made it a lot faster and it took me a minute to sand everything. All I did was just hold the sander right up to it and went for any rough edges and got any extra burrs off. I made sure to round off anything else that I cut to give it a nice even look. So I have everything laid out so you can see what everything we've done so far. We cut the shroud, we cut the stock, and we got the new barrel. That is all I did for this initial build. This is all you really need for a budget look to adjust your setup to make you look unique out on the field. So we put this all together. What I noticed is the barrel actually pushed against the shroud, which made it a really tight fit, but it holds everything in together really nicely. So I didn't actually need the retaining screw, which makes takedown and storage a lot easier. And this is the final look of the budget build. The only thing you can really do after this that is low on cost is add a nice paint job. But I won't be covering that in this video. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. I suggest finding the best pattern you like and just have fun with it. But of course, there's a little more that we can add to this with stuff I just have lying around my house. So now we're going to test to see what, how that looks. So the first attachment I wanted to add was a, some type of foregrip. For me, I had an angled foregrip lying around the back of my closet. So I, after struggling for a little bit, I was able to get it on. You can add a vertical foregrip, you can add a hand stop, whatever you want. Make it what feels good to you. Next, add a red dot. Red dots I love adding on all my builds, but the important thing is to find an appropriate riser. You want about an inch and a half to two inches total in a riser. Normally I get two separate risers, but here I only had a one inch riser. And then of course you add the tactical sling. With that, that is all you need. This build is unique, it's going to stand out in the field, it's super lightweight, and the most important part, it shoots. And now for a little test shooting. The three inch barrel doesn't do great when you try and go for extremely long range shots, but when you're up close, you can see here that it actually shoots pretty accurately, which I loved. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, whatever you decide to do to your TMC, make it personalized to you. And thanks for watching.